Today we have recorded 127 positives from a test pool of 2,247 samples. This now brings the total of confirmed positive cases to 2,989 from 100,683 samples tested so far. And the cumulative number of recoveries to 873. We would have wished to be discharging more patients than admitting. This, however, is not the case as is for today because we have discharged 24 people who have recovered from the disease over the last 24 hours. And as I said earlier, this brings the total number of discharges to 873. Today's cases are 124 of these cases are Kenyans and three are foreigners who live amongst us, with 84 being males and 33 females. The youngest is a three-week-old infant, and the oldest is 72 years of age. The distribution of cases in the counties follows. Nairobi has 62, Mombasa 34, Busia 14, Machakos 4, Bungoma 3, Kwale and Wasingishu 1 each. If we go down to the sub-counties in, in these areas, Nairobi, the cases are from Kibra, 21, Westlands, 14, Duaraska, 12, Kunji, 5, Langata, 4, Dagoreti, North, 3, Makadara, Mbakasi, South, and Mbakasi, West, one case each. In Mombasa, the cases are from Mvita, 8, Nyali, 7, Changamwe, 6, Jomvu, 6, Kisauni, 4, and Likoni, 3 cases. In Busia, all the 14 cases are truck drivers at the Malaba port of entry. In Kiambu, the cases are from Thika, 2, Ruiru, and Kikuyu, one each. In Kilifi, the four cases are from Kilifi North, two, Kilifi South, and Kaloleni, one case each. In Machakos, all the four cases are from Athi River. In Bungoma, all the three cases are of truck drivers from Kandui, while the one case in Kwale is from Matuga, and the case in Wasingishu is from Kesses. Sadly, we have lost another three more patients to the disease, bringing the tally of fatalities to 88. I send my heartfelt deepest condolences to the family of the departed. Yesterday, I informed you about healthcare workers and the risk they stand being in front line of contracting various infections, including COVID-19, as they discharge their duties. As pertains to this current COVID-19 pandemic, 72 frontline healthcare workers have contracted the virus from different environments. Out of these, 19 are currently being managed in different health facilities. The risk of infection has, however, not undermined their commitment to duty. I therefore want to take this opportunity to thank them for their dedication and devotion to serve Kenyans even in the face of being infected. In conclusion, I want to remind ourselves of our resilience as a people. This situation has made us overcome several adversities in the past, and I am confident that together, as we 
stay the course, we shall overcome. Thank you.